Hey everyone, so I had a couple people reach out to me and they wanted to know if I could make a video that's a little more thorough step-by-step -step on how to set up a lab environment. So what I did is I created three videos. This first one is all about VMware ESXi and how to configure the network settings, upload your ISOs, things like that. Part two will be about setting up PFSense for router and firewall capabilities. And then part three is gonna be configuring a domain controller. So setting up Active Directory, DHCP, and DNS. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so to set up our lab, we're gonna need two files right now. We're going to need a Windows Server ISO. That's going to act as our domain controller. And then we're also going to need a PFSense ISO, which will act as our router and firewall. So to get the Windows ISO, you're going to go to Microsoft's website and download Windows Server. You can download 2019, you can download 2016, 2012, just as long as it's Windows Server. All right, next you'll go to PFSense's website. And what you'll do is you'll download the latest version of PFSense. Once both of those are downloaded, let's go into our console. Make sure you've logged into your VMware ESXi host. And what we need to do is we need to upload those ISOs. So that way we can create the virtual machines later. We'll click on storage, data store browser. So what we're doing here is we're browsing the hard drive of our ESXi host. Go ahead and create a new directory. You might want to name it ISOs and then create the directory. I'm going to hit cancel because I already have mine created here. Once you have it created, go ahead and click into the folder, click on Upload, and then you're going to upload those ISO files that you just downloaded. Again, I'm going to hit Cancel because I already have a bunch of ISOs here that I've downloaded. Okay, so next up, we're going to go into Networking and set that up. So click on Networking here. First thing we need to do is create a new virtual switch. As you can see, we have a vSwitch 0. We're going to go ahead and keep that. Just click on Add Standard Virtual Switch here. And then we're going to name it vSwitch1 for the new one. Super original, I know. Go ahead and leave everything as default and click on Add. So now you should have two virtual switches, one that was already created, and the new one right here, this vSwitch1. Next, we're going to go into Port Groups. And as you can see, we have a VMNet and a Management Network right now. Go ahead and click on VMNet. Click on Edit Settings. And we're just going to change the name here. We're going to change it to WAN, short for Wide Area Network. We're going to leave everything as default and click Save. Now I'm going to explain what that means here in a minute. For now, go ahead and create another port group. Name it LAN, L-A-N, which is short for Local Area Network. Now one thing here is we're going to click on the Virtual Switch dropdown and choose the new switch that you just created. Mine is vSwitch1. If you named it something else, go ahead and just make sure you've clicked on that and then click on Add. All right, so what did we just do here? So we've created two different interfaces, one for the internet, the wide area network, and then one for the lab access, the local area network. So later on, when we set up our PFSense virtual machine, that's going to connect these networks together, route them together so that our lab can have internet access. The other network here, this is the management network. That's what allows us to connect to the VMware console here. So if you delete this or if you misconfigure it, you're going to have to physically connect to your ESXi host and then reset the network settings. So just don't even bother touching that unless you know what you're doing. All right, so before we wrap up, just to recap everything, we've downloaded our ISO files, our Windows Server ISO, our PFSense ISO. We've uploaded them into storage here. We've gone into networking, we've created a virtual switch, we've created a new port group, one for internet access, one for lab access. So we've done everything we need to do within ESXi to have a lab set up. So we're actually going to set up our virtual machines in the next video.